Hello and welcome to Biz Daily. I'm John Jordan. So today we're looking at Glue Mobile's financial figures. It's just announced its Q2 figures. That's its figures for April, May, and June, 2015. So um, headline figures. We always look at the uh, gap revenues that are generally accepted accounting practices. Um, so for the period, Glue made uh, sales or had sales of uh, 56.2 million dollars. Um, so and that's actually down 19% um, compared to the period January, February, March. Um, so not so good there. Um, equally for that, uh, I guess this kind of was going to a similar reason. Um, Glue actually made a loss of 5.5 million dollars during the period that compares to a profit of 1.1 uh, million dollars in the previous quarter. So both those are kind of going in the wrong direction really for Glue. Um, the good news for Glue um, is that its uh, cash pile rose significantly. So Glue now has $190 million in cash. And the reason for that is uh, was that it's just completed its uh, an investment from Tencent, which is the biggest games company in the world. Um, the Tencent are a Chinese company, massive in PC games, done a lot of strategic investments in people like kind of, uh, Epic Games. Um, and heavily into mobile as well now and it's done investment into Glue and that's just closed and that's given Glue another about 120 million dollars so even if Glue makes a loss um, probably make a loss for an, another probably next quarter as well and um, it doesn't really matter because it's got so much kind of cash in hand that it's um, actually in investment mode and we're kind of seeing this with Glue at the moment it's doing a lot of licensing deals so it's just signing a deal well, obviously it's got kind of Katy Perry and Britney Spears and sort of kind of signing up for new celebrity type deals because um, of the success of its Kim Kardashian game, and that's really the, the kind of underpinning reason um, why Glue's sales um, are down. So the Kim, Kim Kardashian Hollywood game came out um, just over a year ago. So the first quarter that uh, Glue had all the sales from, from Kim Kardashian was it was actually its Q3 figure, um, and that's kind of where its sales exploded. So Kim Kardashian is about a third of Glue's um, sales at the moment. Um, and so, kind of a year ago, uh, for the next quarter, a year ago, um, that's the sales took off then. So, um, and every quarter since then, um, glue sales have been in decline. I mean, relative decline. It's declined to uh, its highest peak ever when Kim Kardashian launched. Um, so we kind of kind of have to place it in that context that glue is going through a relative decline because it hasn't because Kim Kardashian is its biggest game by far, and that game is now mature. It's over a year old, um, so people are starting to kind of uh, churn out that game. They're still making a lot of money off it, but not as much as it was a year ago. Um, so really, with glue now, we're waiting to see until the end of the year, really, to see um, when the first new celebrity game launches, which will be uh, Katy Perry, and they're expecting that end of 2015, perhaps to start 2016, but until that time, kind of glue is, is now in this period of, it has a whole bunch of games, they're doing okay, but just not doing as well as they were doing at previous times, you know, as a year ago, or, or, or six months ago, or even three months ago. So that's the uh, that's the state of play with glue at the moment, um, we'll, in three months time we'll see how it's getting on again, I guess, and we'll be talking about it then. Okay, come back and see what we're talking about tomorrow. See you then.